On my second go, I do two more moves and clip with a straight arm from a comfortable stance. Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna compare my onside attempt with my second go and point out three major tactics to improve on. The fear of falling, clipping stance, and rock reading. So I'm already quite far above my bolt and I cannot reach the bolt from where I'm at. So I end up clipping from a lock off which is very strenuous and very inefficient. On my second go, I do two more moves and clip with a straight arm from a comfortable stance. Number two. I'm above my bolt, panicking slightly, and I go for the clip as soon as I can possibly reach it, even crossing my arms. What's more, I clip from a very small halt, pull loads of slack up to clip, and then instead of pushing on and committing, I try to recover on the bad halt. On the second go, I end up clipping from a slight lock off, not ideal, but then I down climb only two steps and use a big hold to recover. You can hear my breathing slow down. Back to the onside. I'm frantically looking for better holds, not finding any, and I'm trying to recover on the bad ones instead of committing to the next move. This leads to the vicious cycle of getting more pumped and getting more scared, ultimately leading to me taking. I'm trying to work on this by taking five falls at least each session and taking them from a height that I'm really comfortable with. So at the moment, that is with the bolt from anywhere from my hips to my knees. That's like as far as I can go without slightly freaking out. <laughs> I do this mainly to get comfortable with falling and to rewire my brain's instinct that says falling off a cliff means certain death. <laughs> Number three, I get through the move, uh, clip at my hip, probably the most efficient way because I don't need to pull up loads of slack, but then I fail to use the next good hold to rest and scope out the next sequence, which results in me going up instead of left where the root goes. Listen to my breath on the second go. I took almost 40 seconds at the rest, lowered my heels and slowed down my breathing. This made me really calm and focused as well as allowing me to recover. I think that's a crucial skill to have, knowing when to rest on a rig. So quickly recap, when you're clipping, make sure to clip from a comfortable stance with your arms straight and ideally at your shoulders to hip level so you don't need to pull up loads of slack. Climb quickly through the hard sections and make the most out of the rests. Scope out the sequences and make sure to calm down and focus. And last but not least and probably the most important thing is get comfortable being above your bolt and get comfortable with falling. This is it for today guys, hope you can learn from my mistakes and employ these tactics on your next on-site. I will also upload the video of the whole route because as Readback said, it was very memorable. 
And as always, thank you so much for watching. Get out there and I'll see you in the next one.